Hey y'all, today we're going to be reviewing the Cabela's 2500 bow and rifle pack and I'm going to give you my personal opinions and how I think this may be able to benefit you in the hunting woods this season. So starting out, I want to address how most people talk about the spec sheet on this pack and any other packs, right? And then you usually don't see too much information other than that about this stuff whenever it's a cheaper pack like this. This is $150, which sounds like a lot, but in regards to how much packs cost, this is pretty cheap. And I know everybody says Cabela's, Bass Pro, and Redhead all have fluctuating quality assurance and such, but this pack has been very good to me over two years, so I cannot complain. The stitchings hold up, the material hasn't faded, I've washed this thing a few times, left it in the garage, left it in the rain, and it does very well. So let's talk about what makes this a bow and rifle pack, is these foam pads, along with these clips, which are adjustable quick release clips, as you see here, it has this quick release right there that allows you to clip in your bow, rifle, or crossbow comfortably and safely to allow you to carry it in to wherever you're hunting. This is nice whenever you're carrying it in somewhere where you know you can't hunt or you're just going to go to a certain hunting stand or whatever. Now this feature is nice, but it's not really the main thing in the pack that I like. It also has, before we go, it has this dropout strap that holds the butt of the rifle which is nice i'm not going to pull it all the way out because you can see it on the website so let's talk about some things that you can't see on a spec sheet zipper noise standard zipper noise or nothing quiet not whatever it has you know the true timber strata on there on a material that is nice and quiet relative to most camping packs and such it's not that you know rip stop stuff it's like a felt or a uh, suede material, so it's nice and quiet. I mean, the inside is making more of that noise, right? This inside's a little more durable, but it is noisier. But on the outside, it's nice and quiet relative to most packs, right? Some other things you don't really see on a spec sheet is how much stuff you can carry. If I were to hunt late season from a saddle, which I probably won't do, but just for the point of how much crap I can pack in here, right? I can pack in my entire hunting saddle. Right here in this side pouch. It's late season, can't have sweaty feet. It's a pair of pair of socks. Puffy jacket. A puffy vest. Some midweight late season pants. Late season jacket. Can't walk in with that, you'll get sweaty. And I still have a tiny bit of room on top. <laughs> On the side pocket, I got my Buck 105, my GoPro, and in the front pocket, I can add my flashlights and anything like that. Usually, I add my snacks because you gotta have quick access to snacks, right? But say I'm hunting from the ground, I'm not gonna sit up in a saddle. It's super cold, right? So I take out my saddle gear, and I can put my camera gear in this pocket. I'll have a tripod and a camcorder. So I need something to sit on. So I have my hunting seat, it's a modified strut seat, and I'll put that on there. Now how am I going to hold this on this pack? I loosen the front pocket, set the seat on top, clip her in. Tighten her down. And just like that, all my gears on my pack and I'm ready to get out. So the point I'm trying to make is this pack allows you to do a lot of things other than just carry your bow, rifle, or crossbow, right? I carry, with just how the pack is, I can carry my ground hunting setup. No problem, it makes it feel like nothing because of this internal frame with the waistband pack. Then, if you are carrying your bow or rifle, it allows you to have quick access to your rifle or your bow without making too much noise as the quick release clips, and this pack is overall relatively quiet compared to most packs. Uh, there's a story I can tell you here. Uh, last season, I shot my first public land buck because I was walking down on some public land on a small dirt access trail. I was already about a mile and a half back. Wasn't expected to see some. I was still going to where I thought I was hunting. And I see a hot doe coming across and I have my muzzle litter on my pack. So I drop next to or a fallen pine tree that's right next to an oak tree older than my grandpa. I mean, he can't even reach across it. So it's a huge tree, lean up against that, quietly undo my pack, get my muzzle loader off of my pack, get ready to shoot that doe. And what do I see 50 yards behind that thing trailing it hot? It's a nice little eight point buck. And uh, so I decide 
Man, I've seen him do it on the TV all the time. This will be a blast. So I get my dough bleed out and, you know, just going to try to ruin the situation, I guess. I don't know what I was thinking. And I'm shaking. And I flip that dough can. Like, I'm shaking so bad. And this dough, this buck stops. The dough pays no mind. It goes off into the thicket over there. At about 40 yards, it stops. And I'm shooting 50 cal muzzleloader with iron sights. I ain't taking that shot. So then, bleat. That buck stops. Bleh, bleh. Starts full sprinting at me. I thought it was going to run me over. But there's a tree in front of me, luckily. So it turns off at about 12 yards. And I was like... Let's get it closer. So I'm just trying to ruin my hunt here, I think. I don't know what I'm thinking at this point. Get that thing, you know, shaking. Just adrenaline at this point. I'm about to pass out. This buck turns, runs at about seven yards, looks at me, kicks its foot, starts grunting, and I take the shot with my muzzleloader. Thanks to this pack, I was able to get the gun off the pack quietly without making too much of a commotion, blending in well, you know, and it just worked out that I ended up getting this buck over here. Such a good situation, such a great experience. And even though this is a larger buck, this was a better experience. This was just such a roller coaster of a hunt and I wasn't expecting it. I figured I'd tell you that story because it involved this pack, but I do know it turned into a little bit of storytelling there at the end, but just, just trying to show you how certain gear can help you out a lot. And I mean, I don't know how it would be carrying that rifle in because I didn't have a sling for it. I was carrying that rifle in for a mile and a half. I'd probably drop it, clack it on stuff, but this keeps the rifle nice and out of the way of any of the stuff you're walking in through. So it's just a nice little pack. It's obviously not going to change your life, but for the price, if you're on a budget like I am, it's a great little deal. Comment below if you've got any questions or suggestions. I'll be around. Try to reply to you as soon as possible. Subscribe. and Thanks for watching. I'll see you.